most people, the right of spring is all about baseball. But for you, it's about your lawnmower. Well, you can't play baseball without a well-manicured lawn, and that involves your lawnmower. You got me there. I did. All right, so we're talking lawnmower maintenance. Where do we start? Well, it all started last fall, Kevin. The most important thing you can do is, in the end of the season, run your lawnmower out of gas, completely empty. Why is that? Well, first of all, the gas in the tank will go stale in four to six weeks, so it won't be any good for you in spring. It'll be hard to start. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if there's gas left in the carburetor, it's going to gum it up. If it gums it up, you're going to be taking it to a professional to get it fixed. Glad my lawnmower ran out of gas. All right, so it is springtime. What do we need to be thinking about now? Okay. We're going to want to change the oil is the first thing we want to do. It's old oil, and we want fresh oil to start off in the spring. But before we start working on the lawnmower, we are going to disengage the spark plug. And you've told us that's because we don't want this to start under any circumstances. No chance of starting and injuring anyone. Gotcha. Okay. On some lawnmowers, there may be a plug on the side. Mm -hmm. You simply back it off, the oil comes out, and there'll be a hole in the deck, and it'll drain down into an oil pan like this. Gotcha. In this particular model, we have to remove the oil fill, mm -hmm. set it aside. Now, we are going to tip the lawnmower on its side and let the oil go into the oil pan. All right, I'll give you a hand. You ready? So, how frequently do we have to do this? Once a year on most lawnmowers, and you'll be in really good shape. All right, let's see if we can get it. Here Coming it comes. Out. Yep. I want to get out as much as I can. I think that's good, Kevin. All right, you got it. Get rid of this. Now, it's very important to take this used oil to a facility that recycles it. Want to make sure we dispose of this properly. That's right. Now, we're going to put in new oil, and the manufacturer wants us to put in 30 weight oil. Yeah. And they call for us to put in 20 ounces. So I'm going to put this funnel in for you. So you want 20 ounces in here? That's right, Kevin, but we're going to make sure we have the proper level using the dipstick. All right, you want to check that? Yep. Get this out of there. There you go. We are full. Great. All right, Kevin, you want to spin that around. I want you to check the air filter for me. If you look right there in that compartment on this standard, side, yeah. undo that screw. All right, now look at that air filter. Yeah, it's nice and dirty. All right, huh? that's too dirty to even try to clean, so we're going to replace it with the same type. Got it. Stick it in there. Lock it right up. Uh, it looks like it's pretty tight, Roger. All set, Kev? Yeah, I think so. Well, spring is also a great time to change your spark plug. And to change a spark plug, we use a special socket, which has rubber inside to keep from cracking the porcelain on the spark plug. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go on my old one, and <clears throat> sometimes they're a little <clears throat> hard to get started. Something you suggest we do once a year, too? Once a year, and I'm going to show you why when I get this guy out. Okay, take a look at that. Wow, it's all See black. How dirty that is? Yeah, all built up. Now, when you go to get a new one, it's important that you get one that's the same size as the old one. So you mm -hmm. take the old one with you. Now, when you're putting this new one in, you want to make sure that you don't cross the threads. And once you get it started, don't over tighten it. All set here. All right, anything else? Lubricate the wheels, spray some lubricant on all the moving cables. Check all the nuts and bolts, make sure they're tight, and you're ready to play ball. Mm -hmm.